I am going to explain tokenizer in very simple words with a demo in this video. So let's get started. I am using Google Colab notebook for this demo and you can easily access it through Google with your free Gmail account. Tokenization means to split large text into smaller units for large language models or LLMs to digest. Tokenization converts text into numbers as LLMs understand numbers and not text. Every LLM has its own tokenizer. So when you are using a model or LLM, make sure to use its correct tokenizer. Otherwise, model's output could be wrong. Now let's see how a tokenizer works in a demo. As I said, I am using Google Colab and I'm already logged in there. So let's first install some prerequisite libraries. Let me paste it in the cell here. Click on plus code. And then these are the libraries I'm installing. Transformer, dataset, hugging face, pandas, dataset, and others. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. Libraries are installed now. As a next step, we need to log into Hugging Face Hub because that is where we will be using the models from. So click on play. And this is going to ask you the Hugging Face token. Go to huggingface.co, log in with your free email, email account. And then once you are logged in, on the left hand side, click on access token and copy this token from here. If you don't have it, just click on new token and create your own. Paste your new token here and click on login. And then it should log in. It should you it should log in you in the notebook. That's done. Now as a next step, let's see our tokenizer. The tokenizer I'm going to use for this demo is Tiny Pixel Llama 2, and you can use any other because every model has its own tokenizer. Click on play, and that should initialize your tokenizer. That's done. And one of the advantage of this auto tokenizer is that as soon as you specify this model name, it will automatically find the right tokenizer for you. Cool. Okay, now let's play around with the text. Let me get a text. So this is a text I'm using, which is a very simple one. I am in Sydney. Let me tokenize it or convert it into the numbers. And the way to do is this. All I'm doing is I'm just passing this text, which I have specified here, to this tokenizer. Let's see what it does. Let me print it out. And as you can see, it has converted it into numbers for LLMs. Cool. And we can also untokenize it or decode it back to the text. Let me do that. Click on plus code. And this is the command to do it. So the command is simply decode. And let's see what happens here. Okay, name decoded text is not defined. Let me clear it. We're using the wrong variable name. That is fine. Click on play. So there you go. So you have your I am in Sydney here. Cool. Now, in the real world, you might have a lot of text. So let's also see example of a larger text. Click on plus code. So now here you can see instead of one variable with a text, I have defined a list or an array where we have different items in that array. And then I'm passing that list to the tokenizer and then printing that uh, number. So there you go. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four items in this list and it has returned us four lists of number. Now, as you can see that list in this output are not of same length. For instance, this one has around one, two, three, four, five items, whereas the last one has only three items. The thing is that models need every list of tokens of same length because we use fixed number of tensors. So the next step is to make all of these lists of same size. To do that, we first determine 
what's the max length of the list and then expand each list to that length. For instance, we have the max length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need to expand this list to 5. This process is called as padding. And let's see how the padding is done. This is the code we use. So first we mentioned that what uh, pad token we are going to use. So what exactly will be placed here? And then we use the padding true and then pass it to the tokenizer. Let's run it and it, it will better explain. So there you go. You can see that now we have every list is of same size, which is five. Cool. Now, Another thing is that every model has a max length, which is the limit of tokens, because these models are finite. You can't just throw text upon text in them. You have, there is a limit for every model. So we need to truncate the token as per max length of that model. And this is how you do it. Click on code. And then this is the uh, code to do it. So in this one, we, are still using our tokenizer. We are passing it our text. Then this is, let's suppose this is a max length of the model. So we are just specifying that we can only have three tokens in the list. We are mentioning that truncation is true and padding is also true. So anything below three will be padded. Anything larger than three will be truncated. So click here and there you go. So we have all the list of the same length and as per the max length of this model. So this is how tokenization works. I hope that you liked it. If you have any question or any feedback, please put them in the comments and don't worry about the commands. I will put them in my blog and I will drop the link to that blog in the video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.